Hello and welcome, I'm Omanus and today I will react to the 100 greatest song, songs of the century so far. That was one hell of a delay but I'm oh, fucking Omanus, come on now. So, uh, what's the thing? Uh, I'm not a big fan of the 21st century, the cover is Andre, to, uh, Andre 3000 I believe, Andre 2000, like I don't fucking know. Andre to that. Andre three thousand. I'm gonna st stick with three thousand. I think. Uh, Beyonce and uh, Billy Joe Armstrong is in the back. So um, Outkast, Green Day, and Beyonce respectively. Um, I hate one of them. I like one. I like one of them, and I love one of them. So that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty accurate for the cover. And you can figure out uh, in which order I do. So there we go. In which order, uh, yeah, you, you get the point. Um, yeah, so you know, you know the thrill, you know the thing that I'm doing. Um, if I love the artist, if I love the song, then I will talk about it. If I hate it, I'm gonna talk about it. If I don't know it, I will just, you know, briefly say the number, say the, say the name, and move on with my life. Otherwise, this will go on forever. So there we go. Uh, number 100 is uh, Glory. What the fuck? Gasolina by Daddy Yankee featuring Glory. 99 is Int I Players Anthem, I Choose You. Fucking Pokemon style. Yuji Key featuring Outcast. That is a confusing ass title. Fucking hell. Number 98 is Always uh, Archie Marry Me. I have no idea how to pronounce this shit. Number 97 is uh, 1991 by Phoenix. Number 96 is the Black, the Black Keys tied up. It's a good song, it's a bit too repetitive for my taste, but it can be on there because it was a revolutionary song for, for the rock scene. Number 95 is Cardi Minogue. Can't get you out of my head. I can't get this fucking song out of my head. Fucking hell. Number 94 is uh, Wanking West with Outer Tune Walks. Number 93 is My Chemical Romance. I'm not okay, I promise. Okay, emo kids. Number 92 is Park West Court with Stone and Starving. Yeah, and I've recently reviewed these guys, so definitely check them out because they are talented. So there we go. Oh my god. Despacito. <laughs> Why is this on there? This is a fucking garbage song with the remix with Justin Bieber. Fuck this shit, man. Fuck Rolling Stone. And there's one song I've never heard after again is that song. Fucking all man. Number 90 is uh, Amari, but one one thing, I don't know, you said one thing about Amari. Number 89 is uh, The Highest with Hate to Say I Told You So. <laughs> That's a dumbass name. And number 88 is uh, Hannah Hunt by Vampire Weekend. Number 87 is We Belong Together by Mariah Carey. Good song, I don't think it's as good as her early stuff, but it's still like a pretty, you know, so a song and you know did uh, peak on the on number one in the chart position, so that's good for her, for her fucking ugly ass uh, plastic surgery face. Oh man, she was so beautiful back then. Um, eighty six is I love it. I call pop with Charlie XCX. Kind of an annoying song. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's alright. Number eighty five is My Shot original Broadway cast of Hamilton. I hate to say all, all of these titles. 84 is One More Time by Daft Punk, great song, great dance song, and only reached the 61st position in the 2000s, that's fucking abysmal. It's a great song, so it should uh, be played more, but whatever. Uh, 83 is Lost Cause by Beck, number 82 is New Slang by The Shins, number 81 is Hold Back Girl by Gwen Stefani. I have no idea what the song is, uh, of course it reached uh, number 1 in the chart position, like I don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't really mind this, honestly, it's just kind of dumb, yeah, yeah, you know. Number 80 is uh, Anti Up by Robin Hood's Theory, MLP. Number 79 is, it did not chart, there we go. 79 is uh, Drop It Like It's Hot by I Don't Give A Shit Dog and Pharrell, Pharrell Williams, but it was Pharrell back then. Of course it reached number one, of course it did. 78 is uh, Young Folks, Peter Bjorn and John. Number 77 is Losing My Edge LCD Sound System. Did not chart. 76 is Get Lucky by Daft Punk featuring Pharrell Williams. Great song, I do not think it is better than One More Time. It's definitely 
all time worthy for Daft Punk or for this list for that matter. Well, I don't think it's all time worthy, but definitely for the decade so far, it was a great song. Uh, the highest chart position was number two, which is kind of abysmal since all of the songs back then were kind of shit. Just, uh, you know, it's even worse now, so there we go. 75 is The House That Built Me, Miranda Lambert. That's just a retarded uh, style, but it's it's country, come on now. 74, um, Letter from an Occupant from the New Pornographers, however you want to say that. 73 is The Rapture by House of Jealous Lovers. Bad and Bougie, Migos featuring Lil Uzi. I mean, if they have Lil in their name, I'm not even going to talk about you, come on now. Of course, it reached number one. Fuck me. Number 71 is Call Me Baby by Carly Rae Jepsen. I think we can all go uh, in our lives without ever hearing the song again. It's a good song, but it is so fucking overplayed. And of course, it reached number one. I, I, I believe it stayed on the chart for like, or on number one for like fucking weeks or ago. Number 70 is American Idiot by Green Day. Uh, yeah, great song. It only reached. Uh, Reprise, yeah, that's I believe her label. 61 on the chart position, that's fucking abysmal. Great song, arguably one of my favorite album openers of any album. Great, great song. Number 69 is Thinking About You by Frank Ocean. 68 is uh, Springsteen by Eric Church, and I do not want to guess uh, on who this is, which I, I think we can all guess. 67, What You Know, T.I. 66, uh, Bees in the Trap by Nicki Minaj. Drink two shots. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Uh, is this supposed to be the worst list or something? Because this is fucking abysmal. This is a terrible song. It's reached 48, luckily. It only reached. You know, of course, I would have probably didn't even jar, but it did, of course. Nikki, Nikki Slurdy Minaj. 65, we find Love, Rihanna featuring Calvin Harris. Way better song. I'm, I'm not really a big fan of both of them, but it is definitely better than the last song in region number one. So there we go. Yeah, I believe it reached number one for a few weeks whenever I was uh, keeping up with the Billboard bullshit. Number 64, DNA by Kendrick Lamar, reached number 4, that's pretty good. Number 63 is Sugar, we're going down, followed by, I thought for a moment it was, um, you know, what's the thing? How's it called again? Fucking hell, um, like One Republic or something, you know, oh, the, we're going down, you know, that song. Number 62, Teenage Dream by Katy Perry, I think this is a great song, I definitely think you should check it out because I just think it is a innocent, joyous, Pop tune, yeah, I just think it's a great song, so Sue me, I don't give a shit I do like Katy Perry, so there we go Number 61, you know, it's kind of the same with uh, with Taylor Swift uh, You know, Taylor Swift is kind of on the same uh, Same benchmark as Katy Perry, they're both pretty hated, but both like them, so there we go You know, of course I prefer Taylor because she actually writes her own songs and she, she plays instruments she used to do that, I hope she goes back to her roots, roots a bit more, but if she doesn't, you know, she made some great arms for everyone. Yeah, and also the fact that, uh, <clears throat> this is really impressive though, and you might not like Katy Perry, you probably load her. But this is really impressive though, you know, she is the only artist that, uh, or, well, you, you know, let me say it like this, M Michael Jackson ba back in the day, had his album bad and there were five hit singles on there that's you know both reached number one eventually i believe or yeah yeah you know i believe eventually all of all of those five singles you know were number one at some point around that time and Katy perry is the only artist ever since to do that what michael jackson jackson what michael jackson did back in the bad era so, lover or hater, that's fucking impressive. I, you know, I don't care who you are. She probably didn't even write it, but it's still impressive, nonetheless. Number 61 is uh, Hunger by Madonna. I should have hung myself listening to this fucking song. Yeah, the one thing I despise about the song is that it's, you know, ripped off or ripped, it sampled uh, Gimme, Gimme, Gimme a Man After Hit Night, the ABBA hit. And yeah, you know, I love ABBA, but I, I just think that this 
sample cover thing right here is just fucking atrocious. It just, you know, it ruins the beat and it just makes it a generic dance end. And where, you know, ABBA made it a great instrumental tune to just sing along to. So fuck Madonna. Number 60 is Haim by The Wire. Um, or The Wire by Haim, whatever. 59 is Bodak Yellow by Cardi B. You know, they actually, you know, um, you know, set it up for me for me to say it and I still mess it up because I I'm used to do it I'm, I'm used to do it backwards because I have to usually correct them but whatever uh, 58 niggers and Paris Jay-Z and Kanye West uh, yeah I think I think it's actually a really great song there's actually also a game I believe uh, you know which is called don't let Kanye let them into his zone or something which is kind of funny so I do like the, I do like the song quite a bit number 57 is uh, do you realize by the flaming lips I don't it did not chart, of course, so I did not realize it. And probably no one, no one did. Number 56 is Weird Fishes, Arpeggi by Radiohead. Yeah, this is from the In Rainbows record, so this is definitely a great song. I've definitely heard it before, but uh, I've definitely have to re-listen to it again. It did not chart, of course, because the chart positions are tone deaf. Number 55 is uh, 212 by Azalea Banks featuring Lazy J. And I believe this is the song that goes like You know that song. It's probably that song. Number 54 is Portions for Vox by Wario Kali. Uh, 53 is Oblivion by Grimes. 52 is Chandelier by Sia. I think it's a good song, but it's way too fucking overbloated. Speaking of songs that are overrated and overblown, the single ladies put a ring on it. Not, you know, not not per se that the CS song is overrated, but this song definitely is like fucking atrocious. Of course, it's reason number one. People are fucking crazy for Beyonce. Stop it. Get some help. You know, listen to better artists. Even on here. Yeah, you know, even this artist, uh, Fifty, the scientist called Play Great Song. Um, I do really love the song and you know it sounds great, it is great, so there we go. It did not chart, really. It's a great song. Fuck off. Number 49 is Sign of the Time by Harry Styles. And you know him naming this song that he did is just like like he's pissing on the grave on Prince or something. You know, I, I know that Prince called it Sign O the time and pro people are probably looking at me like yeah, but you brought Prince in here, so that's kind of disrespectful to talk about these two artists, artists in the, the same breath, but... I mean, Sign of the Times, it's so fucking obvious, come on now. I mean, her, I mean uh, one, one Direction used to rip off U2 and Queen and The Clash and The Who, so there we go. They, they, they just rip off everyone, come on now. Yeah, they're it's fucking hell. And then I believe Rolling Stone is even saying that they ripped off Queen and David Bowie on Sign of the Times. So yeah, Ron Rex is just the laziest fucking band. Come on now. 48 is uh, Happy by Pharrell Williams. I think a song that we don't have to hear ever again. Of course, it's reason number one. Fucking hell. 47 is Redbone by Chelsea Gambino. 46 is Cry Me a River by Justin Timberlake. 45, sorry, Justin Bieber. Terrible. Yeah, uh, you know, Rolling Stone, you're fucking abysmal. 44 Stan, Eminem, yeah, pretty much the best song. It only reached 51 because it is a bit too controversial, I suppose. It's Eminem, come on now. 43 Cranes in the Sky, uh, Solange, Jolane, I don't know. 42 Electric Fuel, MGMT. Uh, 41 Her Johnny Cash, uh, it did not chart. Fuck off, chart. Uh, of course, I prefer the Nine Inch Nails original, but uh, this is definitely a very emotional cover. Uh, yeah, pretty much my favorite cover song ever. Well, it's up there for sure. For the beautiful day by YouTube, and I actually thought that this song might have been number one because of U2 and Rolling Stone fucking adores U2. You know, I do love U2 too, but the level that Rolling Stone takes it on is just fucking ridiculous, honestly. Number 39 is uh, No One Knows by Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah, great song. I love this one. Very infectious, very bluesy, kind of uh, No One Knows His Time is exactly uh, Rolling Stone. It's a great song. Definitely check it out. Uh, Queens of the Stone Age is definitely like a like a modern rock classic band or something. They're definitely a modern classic. That's what I'm trying to say there. Number 38 is Formation Beyonce. Fuck off with your Beyonce shit. 
fucking hell. 37, you want a dark by Leo and Cohen. 36, Gold Digger, Kanye West featuring Jamie Foxx, yeah. And the lighter song this is pretty much my favorite uh, Kanye West songwriter. Uh, she's here, Gold Digger. But they ain't telling she broke, broke, you know. Uh, I, I just like the lyrical fun. I'm just like, you know, I just like the subject that Kanye West is like, um, you know, what, what is he saying? Like, he's just talking about gold digging bitches, man. Like, ain't that the truth? Isn't that relatable? Fucking hell, man. And it's reached number one, of course. Uh, 35 with uh, Blue Jean by Lana Del Rey. I think Lana Del Rey is arguably one of the worst artists ever. It did not chart locally, so I probably haven't heard it before. Which, it will stay that way. Uh, number 34 is Mr. Brassa by The Killers. Uh, I do not care for this song. And uh, for The Killers, for that matter. Uh, number 33 is an amazing song. It's, you know, it's kind of uh, insulting that it's right besides a killer tune. Killers, <laughs> no. Oh, I wish, I wish. Uh, 33, Idiot Tech by Radio. I love this song, you know, I think this is great. Uh, very electronic in the best possible way. Very catchy, very infectious, yet very dark and very interesting to listen to. Very great, very great song, I love it. It did not chart, of course. Fucking retarded chart position. That's probably the reason why I don't, why I don't listen to chart positions because Idiotech ain't on there. Fucking dipshits. Number 32 is In That Club by 50 Cent. Of course, this was number one because the charts were retarded. Number 31 is Wake Up by Arcade Fire. Great song. It did not chart, of course. I fucking hate the chart. You know, just think whenever a song is good, it will probably not chart, and I'm right every fucking time. So there we go. Great song is arguably their biggest anthem, and. It's fucking futile, come on, that's a great album. Number 30 is Mississippi by Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan is still making records, but he's not getting recognized because he recognized because he's not on the chart. But still, kudos to him, kudos to him trying. Oh, this is a very personal song for me. Uh, 29 is All Too Well by Taylor Swift, a great song. Very, very mellow, very um, just acoustic, very personal yeah red was definitely a big peak for her arguably my favorite of her maybe 1989 or you know uh speaker or how's it called again you know with the dress with the purple or the red dress for that matter i believe it's speak now i haven't listened to taylor swift in a while but this is a great song it's arguably one of my personal favorite of uh of her so there we go so i'm happy it's on there instead of her like her generic anthems like bad blood or um it's called again like the haters gonna hate that hate 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 shake it off yeah i guess fucking hell uh, yeah yeah those songs are atrocious but but also wells also was great song number 28 umbrella by rihanna featuring jay-z and i i think this is actually probably the best rihanna song honestly yeah pretty much yes there we go 27 is bob outcast this is a great rap song um it did not chart of course <laughs> Just remind, just remind you, if I love it, it's probably not gonna be on the charts, and it isn't, so there we go. So I will probably avoid the charts forever. Fuck the charts. Great song, I do read it of the under 2000 uh, rap, but I even love the other guys rap more. I, 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 I forgot how, how it was called, but that is pretty much the best moment right there. Yeah, I believe they're not gonna say the names. It earned Outcast plenty of admirers, including Rage Against the Machines, Zach de la Rocha. That, that's a lot of, that's major cred right there. It defies definition, he said, of B.O.B. That's the dopest kind of music. Thank you, Zach de la Rocha, for agreeing that this is a great song. So there we go. And, oh my god, 26 whole line bling by Drake. This is just atrocious. Like, above B.O.B., fuck off. Not, not the artist, because the artist is atrocious, but above the song, no. Like, like it's pretty funny how the how the outcast song B.O.B. is better than B.O.B.'s entire career. That's, that's kind of funny as said in a way. But it's true. 25 is um, Uptown Funk by Mark Ronson and Bruno Mars. It's a good song, of course, for reason number one. It's good, but I don't think it's, uh, yeah, it's like one of the best songs of the century. 24 is Lose Yourself by Eminem. Uh, yeah, good song. 
arguably his most famous song, arguably his most respected song, and do like it, so there we go. Number 23 is Miss Jackson by Outcast. I arguably prefer, um, I was called, I prefer B.O.B., but Miss Jackson is definitely a great one too. 22 is uh, Take Me Out by Friends Vernon. I never have to hear the song again. Fucking atrocious. It reached 66, like I'll give a shit. Number 21 is Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. I honestly prefer, you know, this is from her. How's it called again? Um, the Fame Monster EP. Uh, you know, I thought it was an album, but it apparently is an EP. Uh, there are so many great songs on, on that EP. Um, Aleander is probably my favorite Lady Gaga song. Uh, what what else is on there? Paparazzi, no, I believe that's on the first album. There are like some great songs on that album, but I forgot all of them. Bad Romance, of course. <laughs> I cannot remember a single song. Like, fuck me. I, will, I really want to, I really want to get this right. I was called again. Uh, oh my god. The Fame Monster, uh, the Fame Monster. Like, one was on there again. Fucking hell. It's 80, yeah, it's 84 minutes, including with the, with the Fame original, I suppose. Um, yeah, I, I love the original cover, where she's like covered up with a kind of melon haircut, I, I suppose. But it looks pretty arty in a way. And the alternative cover looks kind of bleak and generic, you know, like she's some fucking doll or something. Doll. Oh yeah, Telephone featuring Beyonce was on there. Dance in the Dark, which is, you know, probably a Bruce Springsteen. Uh, some Bruce Springsteen uh, tribute, but it's probably way better because I actually like Lady Gaga. Speakers is on there. Uh, yeah, Alejandro, like I said, Bad Romance. Yeah, so those are pretty much the only two big hits of the album. Monster, I believe, was a hit. But pretty much every song on this album was uh, was kind of like, you know, a recognizable song, so it was pretty major. I know it didn't really get uh, critical acclaim, but it is a great record, so check it out. It's a great EP, in my opinion. If you do want me to review it, I will do it, because, you know, I like Lady Gaga. Number 20 is Rhea by Amy Winehouse. I think she has so many better songs. Um, you're, you're Not Good, uh, back, back to Black, uh, more songs. I've uh, Valerie, I believe, that's a great one, you know, with the sex, saxophone. Um, I just really love that Amy Winehouse is one of those like throwback soul artists. I love her sound. I, I think she sounds great. So it's really sad that, that we lost her so early. You know, because she was a very like retro artist, you know, it's, it saddens me. Number 19 is uh, Dancing on My Own by Robin, I've heard of that. 18 is Black Star by David Bowie, oh my god, what a fucking tune. Only 78 on the charts, I guess, but I mean, it's Bowie, come on, you gotta have it on there, hi. Number 17 is Work It, Missy Elliott, atrocious song. 16, All My Friends, LCD Sound System, Dinner's Chart. 15 is Crazy, uh, Gnarls Gnar Gnar Barkley, I believe the G is silent. Fucking hell, my, my fucking my fucking hands are silent. Uh, reach number 2, fair game. Number 14 is Toxic by Britney Spears, yeah, I, I think it's an okay song, so what? <laughs> 13, all right, I can never remember, <laughs> perfect. Number 12 is Get Your Freak On by Missy Elliott, probably the only song I really like where Get Your Freak On, Get Your Freak On. Number 11, Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. Rocking song, I don't really like this one, but it is kind of rocking. 10, Last Night by The Stroke, great song, kind of like a punky revival kind of song. And I uh, think about revival bands, uh, Seven Nation Army is probably gonna top this list. It did not chart, really. Last Night was a big, big indie rock hit, what the fuck? Last night, she said. What the fuck? Uh, number nine, Royals Lord. I, I think it is a great song. It's number one. Even Alex kind of liked the song, so it must you know must be great, right? Which it is. It is a great pop song. So there we go. Number eight is Rolling in the Deep by Adele. Great, also a great pop song, which reached number one, of course. Number seven is Runaway by Kanye West featuring Pusha T, which is arguably my favorite Kanye West song ever, probably with Lights too. So here's a lot of great songs on this uh, on this Dark Twisted Fantasy album, which is pretty much his best album so cool now. Number six is Matched by 
Yeah, yeah, yes. Terrible name. Number five is 99 Problems by Jay-Z, of course. Number four is Hey Yabba Outcast. Arguably my least favorite. Yeah, it was it was under 2000, so there we go. So I was right. I was right on my instincts. Good song. I, I think pretty much every song ever by them is better. You know, Miss Jackson and B.O.B. For, uh, for sure. Uh, the Art of Storytelling, which is pretty much the best Outcast song. Rosa Parks, AT Aliens, Southern Play a Little Elastic, whatever, you know, that debut. Uh, elevators, I love. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much every song other than Heya is better, I think. But they are still good, but it's just overplayed as fuck. Yeah, and here we have the other indie smash, which was, uh, or indie smash, it was a blues revival rock song, I, I suppose. Seven Nation Army, but what about Stripes? It is a good song, but it is overplayed as fuck, and I mean, it is pretty much their signature tune. <coughs> so, you know, good for them that they have a song like that. Uh, you know, most bands can only dream of a song like that, so there we go. And number two is Pay Replay by Mia, good song. I don't think it deserves to be number two, but it's definitely a good rap song. I do enjoy the, the hip hop beat and the, you know, the production is really good. Yeah, I always really liked the song. Uh, kind of unfortunate that she just, you know, never really made a song like Paper Planes again. But, you know, better have this than nothing, I guess. What's number one? What is number one? Uh, we got Eminem already, Radiohead. Strokes, Queens of the Stone Age. Uh, oh my god, what's, what's gonna be number one? You know, I, I have still some time left, so might as well guess it, I suppose. Who was the biggest artist in the 2000s? I, yeah, I guess Eminem, but... You know, you already got the big hits from him. You know, Stan and Lose Yourself, so... Maybe Arcade Fires, um, Neighborhood Series. Or um, Rebellion Lies, one of those songs. Or, you know, The Suburbs, you know, that's eligible too. Of the century so far, so it can be any song that it probably was in 2016, I believe, this list. So, still eligible. Maybe even Reflective for that matter, but definitely not number one. Oh no, not, not Crazy in Love by Beyonce and Jay Z. I really hope it's not that song, but it probably is. Yeah, of course it is. Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't want to scream because it's like... It's like uh, midnight right now. It's like uh, the middle of the night, so... I don't want to scream and I'm fucking tired. Rolling Stone, fuck you. Crazy in Love, it is an okay song, but... It's not the best song... Of the millennium. So far, of the century. Fuck off. It's not. It's okay. It's an okay pop song. Yeah, there you go. That's my opinion on the list. If you agree with my, if you agree with me, then let me know uh, what you would add, what you would remove on the list. Uh, let me know your own list, or if 100 is maybe a bit too lengthy for you, then make it top 10 or something. And if you do make a top 10, I might make a top 10 with you, but that's probably never gonna happen because. Who, you know, who watches this this far until the vid, they just go until the ending and then they dip like a fucking bitch. Or in my case, people will almost click on the video, period. Yeah, so there we go. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Do all the same, just said like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you did like this one, like you can see, I'm fucking tired right now, so I'm gonna take a nap, so yeah. Thank you and peace and later on. And fuck Beyonce, she, like, she's okay, you know, she's an okay artist, but she's not the best thing ever since the fucking Beatles or something, fuck off. Or since Mariah Carey or whatever. You know, you know I would say give it to Taylor Swift, but Taylor Swift already gets like shit out of prey, so. Uh, just fuck me, fuck me. Fuck me for reacting to these stupid ass this music fan. Steven Young, however, however you want to get called. This outro is terrible. I'm tired. Fuck off.